<laughs> That's a funny comment. I'd like to see my girlfriend too. Oh wait, I already hit the start button. Hello, and welcome to the hobo and his girlfriend. <laughs> Future girlfriend. Sometime girlfriend. I'm sorry. I, I just read. I just read a comment by someone, and I just had a chuckle at it. And I'll, I'll give that person a shout out because he did leave a comment. You leave a comment, you get a shout out and a video dedication. Um, so I'm gonna try and do this in about 20 minutes. So it's making me laugh because I'm not here to talk about my my pathetic dating situation, although it's semi improving. I guess I saw my boss in the draw. I guess I saw my boss wear booty shorts. I saw my boss wear pajama shorts. Wait a second. Why am I seeing my boss's bra, booty shorts, pajama shorts, and then a tank top? All at work. I don't know. It's just random stuff. <laughs> Those are my own private issues, I guess. But I'm here to talk about SmackDown. And the reason I'm in such a giddy mood, probably because I'm going through sleep deprivation. I've worked for, wow, 21 hours. That's impressive. And I still have to go hobo. Because so I found some aluminum I have to pick up. But, <laughs> again, just like Jay Hamilton. I hope I got that name right. I kind of scribbled it down. So, Jay Hamilton, thank you very much for your comment. You know, I'd like... <laughs> Wait, you said... Your comment, Jay Hamilton, was... Yeah, I would like to see his girlfriend. You know what? I'd like to see my girlfriend, too. That's neither here nor there. Well, because you left a comment. This mundo madness goes out to you. And actually, that's a, a kind of borrowed spot. If, you, if you're old like me, you remember the match made in a heaven? When the Macho Man Randy Savage kind of in-ring married Miss Elizabeth. They were married before that. Oh, and by the way, if anyone out there does get a chance, the three Viceland wrestling tributes, a match made in heaven, Beyond the Mat, I think. And the Von Erich. Three truly excellent documentaries. Again, a person my age really appreciates that. Mainly because I can remember all of the Von Erichs wrestling. Um, I remember specifically Carrie, Kevin, and Lance Von Erich. I guess was a cousin, but not really a Von Erich. And there was Dave on Eric. I think the the. I think one von Eric, first von Eric. They had, I didn't realize they had like six sons. I want to say. Had two daughters too. I think all but Kevin died. And the two daughters are still alive, and, and Lance is, is floating around somewhere. I think I think he is kind of a cousin. I think he's in like real estate. Kevin is in Hawaii. I think one daughter wrestles in the indie scene. I think the other daughter is in like insurance or something. Listen, I never want to get into any of those wrestling families. The Bruiser, Bruiser Brody one was excellent. Talked about his death in Puerto Rico. The 
Match Me in Heaven was excellent. I, I, I even even this hobo cried um, after hear all the stuff that happened, and it's really cool because you get to see like just a little insight. But I'm not here to to, to go over Vice Land though. Maybe I'll save that for like a special bonus episode if I ever get monetized. Or if I get super chats, I'll, I'll I'll go into detail about that. But no, I'm here to talk about some SmackDown. And SmackDown, this show is a lot better than Raw. Again, every so often I miss some things, but not that often. Um, I know from Raw, I think I was kind of getting like stuff ready for work. I was kind of getting stuff ready for them. And I missed the Bray Wyatt episode. That's funny. Waylon Mercy, the buzzard, is great. He he ate the the bunny rabbit. Just always cool. But enough about that. I don't I don't think I don't think they replayed that on SmackDown. Although sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So, but I'm here to talk about some SmackDown again. Jay Hamilton, you had your video dedication. If you would like a video dedication or a little gift dedication, again, you can feel free to either subscribe, email. Or leave a comment. And wow, this is the last wrestling video I have to do this week. That's rare. Cool. Last week I had so many. Well, that's okay. I only put content out to you, my YouTube audience. Thank you guys very much for watching. Yeah, I'm going to keep this going strong. Even though my girlfriend's situation is up in the air. <laughs> yes, I would like to. Um, if you do, uh, um, I will say this, Jay Hamilton, if you go back, please, April, March, February, six months? Wow. You go back six months, probably more so seven or eight months, actually almost a year from now, a little bit less than a year. You'll be able to see some videos of my old ex-girlfriend. And I know one of them was really funny. <laughs> when I did... When we first did the, um... First... Or the season four of Lucha Underground. I put my wrestling mask on. And... Actually, I didn't do anything. El Hobo Dos Vagabundo Trete Ocho, whatever he calls himself now, was doing the show with my girlfriend. I showed some guys at work, and she had such this, I do not want to be here face. And then every so often for productions, I would get her on the phone, and I think... I think what was the last one I did? It might have been be Thanksgiving? No. I don't know. I did one and and it said it said girlfriend on phone. So you guys hear her voice. So again, I'm looking out there. Although the twenty fifth. You never know, folks. Again, one day, Ky um, Kyrie Stain might show up to my job and say, take me fishing, and I just leave. You know what? Even Boo Sonya Deville, he showed up to my job, said I had a 40-foot boat. I want to go fishing right now. I think I'd even leave work for Boo Sonya Deville. Oh, that's, that's bad. Okay, and I'll tell you what. If Paige bought me a Jimmy John sandwich, I'd probably leave work too. I think she's seeing someone though. I always forget though. That's that's neither here nor there. You know what I actually Molly Holly always looks cute. But uh, that's enough about that. It's not Valentine's Day. Well I did have a Valentine's Day special. Every so often, the uh, Twisted Pixie is out there. So that's always a good thing. Um, distance sucks. But let's talk about some more upbeat topics. 
I'm going to try and get this video done really soon so I can go hobo and hopefully this video will be done and uploaded to my YouTube channel. Hopefully tonight. I don't have to go to work until 12 tomorrow. So again, Jay Hamilton, if you do want to see pictures of my ex-girlfriend, you can always go back, geez, about six to eight months, see videos of us interacting. Again, probably the funniest one was for Lucha Underground where she just had this whole face of, I do not want to be here. We'll see. Oh, I wonder how I break it for that I do YouTube shows on pro wrestling. I'm always here. Indeed. But again, to start off SmackDown, I had way too much fun. Uh, we start off with AJ Styles. Comes to the ring, cuts a promo. I guess he's taking advantage of the wild card. And I don't know if that's going to last the whole time. Or the whole rest of the year. Or if it's just going to be something for this show. I don't know. I don't think Vince knows either. So. <laughs> That's going to make a good <laughs> I wonder if Vince knows who my girlfriend is. That's terrible. I have to think of a good creative title for this, though. But... Oh, I have to scooch over. There we go. Center myself. One day I'll get this. Actually, when I get a new chair, fix that problem. I think I've had this one. I think this is a chair I got my mom before she moved. Well, this chair is like eight years old. That chair, Jesus, like 12 years old. That chair is broken, though. This goes over there. That goes in the garbage, and I get new comfy chair. New comfy chairs are good chairs. But with that, all, all that being said, AJ Styles comes out, cuts a promo, and then Sami Zayn comes out, and people just say, take a shower, because AJ Styles says, you smell, still smell like garbage after what Braun did to you. Uh, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Wood comes out, and then they, and they cut a promo, and say, you know, I'll take on both of you. That leads to tonight's main event, and the reason I look cross-eyed, because I'm trying to do new stuff over here. I am actually looking at my notes, so that way I'm not like this all the time, and reading like this. I'm trying to be like this. Trying to improve small little things. So, and it was a pretty good opening. And then we see uh, Kevin Owens is obviously in his car in the back parking lot. And I wonder if I put those now, because then I'd be like looking like that. And that would probably be weirder looking. At least this way you can kind of tell I'm reading off some notes. And I'm not looking like this, at least. You don't see the nothing. Bright spots. But oh, that's right. I always have to figure. I always have to change the lighting. I'm just lazy. Doing it with natural lights is so much better. I get an insight to the hobo studio, and that's going to be an interesting conversation in two more weeks. Um, so our first match, we have <laughs> God, the, the battle of the one names. Terrible. At least even the Von Eriks. It was Carrie, Kevin, Dave, and they were the Von Erics. Fabulous Freebirds, dynamic duo. Um, who else was there? I don't think Bruiser Brody. I don't think there was anyone with just one name. At least there was Moondog 1 and Moondog 2. I'm trying to think. Bobo Brazil, Coco Beware. Don Morocco. Yeah, they all have two names. Normal names. Even the fabulous boys had like names, and that's two words anyway. Or three actually. Skandar Akbar. Kamala. Well that makes sense though. He was the Ugandan giant. I digress into into inter wrestling legend and lore and history. So Ali versus Andrade. El Ilo. I'll tell you what. Mustafa Ali cuts a great promo, and it's done street style, and it looks like it's done on kind of like the selfie version of a cell phone, which is something I have not mastered yet. And just one last thing about having a girlfriend, if Nixon Hool ever showed up to my store, she could be wearing her wrestling shoes, the girl with the Chinese wizard shirt, which I have to get from my sister one day. Where should I get that from my niece? No, I got it from my sister. Yeah, that'll be her birthday gift. Again, when they go on sale again, when I get my Macho Man shirt. 
I'll think of something. But it'll be um, uh, Nixon Newell ever showed up in her wrestling attire, the girl with the shiniest wizard shirt, and without her glasses. Who are you supposed to be? Again, if she said, take me fishing, I'd probably be like, best offer I've had. Terrible. <laughs> Get my booty short wearing boss to buy a boat. Oh, I hope she never watches the show. That would be so bad. You're fired! Okay, sorry about all this stuff. Again, it just... It's all Jay Hamilton's fault. Blame him, folks. Uh, and this was actually a really fun match. Um, fairly high-flying. The only thing that brought it down is Ren Yorn showed up and just started dishing out RKOs to everyone. Then would look up with the money in the bank belt and RKO them again. And it was, again, RKOs out of nowhere. It was fun. It just seemed short. And they really couldn't a lot more with these two wrestlers. They could probably put on, oh, at least a surf and turf match, in my opinion. But Randy Orton got involved. It just seemed really short. Granted, it was fun that Randy Orton gave our RKOs to everyone. This is just a ham sandwich mash, though. And then we have a Roman Reigns promo. Then it got really promo heavy. Um, so Roman Reigns had a fairly long promo. Oh, and you know what? Yes. You suck. I always like to do that. Whenever I see a sign, there's a, I always like to kind of repeat what the signs say. Some of them are really funny. I like to wish those people a happy birthday, or, or in this case, yes, you do suck. But, um, so Miz comes. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a Shane and Miz promo. Um, because Shane is the best in the world, he's just going to give the belts away because they had to be vacated by the Hardys. And of course, Daniel Bryan and Rowan and Rowan come out. And they're like, "Yes, we're going to gladly accept these titles." And then the Usos show up. So they're part of the I guess wild card thing because there's the four or five people. I don't know. It depends what you consider Lars. But uh, they come out. They come out. Daniel Bryan and Rowan come out. And the Usos come out. They say, okay, you're just going to give those belts away. Eh, eh, eh. And Shane's like, you know what? Okay, we're going to have a match. So it's Daniel Bryan and Rowan versus the Usos. And this was an, a really good match. I mean, the Usos, I don't think they could put on a bad match. Now that they're going against Daniel Bryan, again, another five-star match machine. Or at least four-star match machine. Again, another surf and turf in his sleep match. I think he's only had, I think in my opinion, I think only... Would... Maybe really bad matches. I think the one was against, or when he was in a program with Big Cass, and it was... Eh. But this was really good. I mean, the Usos, they do, really do show that tag team continuity. I mean, Ronan's just too big and just absorbs all, all the shots, like the uh, Samoan throat slap, um, super ki uh, kicks, punches. Again, but he's the big monster heel of the team. He should he should be doing that though. Daniel Bryan's obviously the more tactical one. And he picks Daniel Bryan tends to pick his spots more often. And again, and eventually it does break down and becomes a super kick party. Yeah, I can say that. I am wearing a machine gun Carl Anderson b -b -b bullet club for life. It's too sweet. So I can say that, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, I won't get copyright for that. Trust me, not after what I've done. I've butchered some WWE stars in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have to make I have to make a Money in the Bank matches too for that too. I think a couple of them for the Memorial Day will be the Memorial Day in a briefcase show. Ooh, how should I make that? I should just make it a back. 
<laughs> that's terrible. It does fit with the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League wrestling, though. So, so that's pretty good. And then, with, that all, with all that being said, um, again, it was a really fun match, though. You know, it was a super kick party on Ronan, and eventually it does break down. Um, both Ronan and Dan Bryan wind up on the outside of the ring. Usos go flying them. They seem, uh, Ronan seemed to catch both of them. Uh, Ronan hits that iron, iron claw slam. Maybe a tribute to the Von Erichs. Who knows? But it's pretty cool. I mean, this, especially after you see the Von Erichs show, I mean, you see the iron claw slam and you're like, that's cool. And this was a really fun, good match though. Again, this is a good example of what a surf and turf match should be. And then one last quick thing about my ex-girlfriend. If you watched my year in review show two months ago, Jay Hamilton, for some reason my girlfriend likes to take pictures of both the crotches of men and women. Indeed. There was a money shot of Sarah Logan before she became Sarah Rowe. Or Sarah Hansen. I forget. I forget what his last name is. Whatever. That was the money shot, though. And even I said, like, oh! Again, Nikki Cross is amazing, though, when she's in NXT. I think, oh, I want to send a big shout out to Nikki Cross, who's going for her Masters in History. Way to go. Uh, I think Nicole Glenn Cross. The real name, I think. So again, Nicole Glencross could be a master too one day. I am. I'm actually a doctor, but my EVD up there on the wall, which I hope to use really soon. Oh, um, then so uh, Miz eventually jumps Shane, and then the B team beat up, or the, as as and and they were referenced as uh, as once being part of the Miztourage. They take out. Miz for a while, and still Shane grabs a chair and just waylays him. And there's also a Finn Balor promo. Finn two belts? I think Finn actually trained Becky. So that kind of makes sense, and they're both from Ireland. What, what can you say? At least there's some continuity. Um, there actually is a backstage segment with a new look heavy machinery. They don't have the leather jackets anymore, but they have the jean vests that say HM and the blue collar part along the collar. Maybe we'll see them pull the belt someday. That would be pretty cool. My, they're, my nephews are a big fan of them. That should be pretty fun, especially if they ever come here to a live event. I don't know. They had a live event here. That stadium was freaking empty. That's a whole other issue. Then the next match of the night, it was, it was uh, Ember Moon and Carmella versus Mandy Rose and Boo Sonya Deville. Again, just so I could leave work, Boo Sonya Deville said, I have a 40-foot Viking boat in Halifax Harbor. Take me fishing. See you guys. Well, that won't happen, though. For reasons, if you watch, if you actually follow the wrestlers a little bit, you'll know why. She doesn't play on the same. She plays for the same team. I didn't say that though. That could probably get. I don't know. I've said a lot of bad stuff on YouTube. Um. So again, this was actually a pretty fun match. I'll tell you what. Again, the fact Jay Hamilton that I don't have a girlfriend, I can say this. It's like a booty times three event. Ember Moon, one day, she's going to show us a full Ember Moon. Carmella's nothing to, to snicker at. Mandy Rose. Yeah, she does something down there. That gets awfully low. And so, you know, just wears normal, normal stuff. But again, I saw a so, you know, match once. I'm not really impressed. I hear she's she's really good in the in the backstage area, a really good wrestler, a really good worker. I just didn't see it. 
And I know she has improved a little bit. Her talking seems a lot more natural now. But then she does the the Mandy Donuts, I think, on YouTube, where they rate and review donuts. That sounds interesting. Um, again, for this match, it was just kind of a spot fest. Um, the guys kind of like all flew around, except for Sonya Deville. Uh, Mandy Rose kind of hit that like reverse face buster thing that she does. Uh, she pinned, I think, Ember Moon with it. Again, that just looked pretty good. Can one day it's going to be that full Ember Moon. And I'll say, you heard it here first, folks. Um, so, Indy Rose and Boo Sonya Deville won. I can't really complain. That was a good cheeseburger match. And it's hard to screw up a cheeseburger, and they didn't screw anything up. Uh, then you have um, Matt Hardy and our truth in the back, only because they're saying how Lars Sullivan's beating everyone up. Lars Sullivan's beat them up, too. And then for the main event of the evening, we have Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship in a three-way match. And... Again, AJ got new music. There's a little, uh, like at the very beginning where it wasn't there before. Um, Sami Zayn got a haircut and new tights. It's okay. I still want to see them bring back El Generico. Ole, 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 ole. C, C, C. C, C, C. Again, El Generico as a character is amazing. Kind of half inspired the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. La Generica, who is the generic Puerto Rican Cuban luchadora. And based off a woman I saw a while ago. So that's pretty cool. And she knows who she is. She had, well, because because I, that's because I told her. That's, that's so bad. Um, but this match was actually, for the most part, pretty fun. It started off um, a lot of AJ Styles and Kofi Kingston in the ring, which was really good. Those two are tremendous workers. I mean, they had a really fun match. AJ Styles definitely has that new... He still keeps that... And, and he's it's been coming out more, which is good. He has that New Japan-style wrestling where he's uh, hard-hitting, but the... I'm going to break your neck more times than you can break my neck mentality of New Japan Pro Wrestling. So that all, that's all it seems like. It's like the person who gets dropped on their head the most loses. Whoever gets dropped on their neck most loses. I mean, that's like a New Japan match. Um, Kofi Kingston can use, he does a flippy stuff. I do like the fact that he has a new move. He goes up to the top rope, kind of kicks his feet, yay! And then falls and then does like the kind of flop splash. I, I don't want to call it that. That's pretty cool, the flop splash. It looks like a move I could do, honestly. And if I could do it, that's pretty cool. Um, there were some cool spots. AJ Sat um, Sami Zayn hit a superplex on on Kofi. In turn, AJ Styles hit a Frankensteiner, which I haven't seen him do in a while, onto Sami Zayn. And it was really fun. Kevin Owens shows up, beats up um, Xavier Woods. And it kind of distracts some people a little bit. Um, Kofi does hit the Trouble in Paradise on Sami Zayn. Uh, AJ Styles eventually does get taken out of the ring for a little bit. And Kofi Kingston won. I know this is going to sound harsh, but once I saw Sami Zayn was mentioned, Sami Zayn's eating the pin. So only because I can't, you can figure out what the match end was going to be, it's still, though, a really good cheeseburger match. If I could qualify it anyway, it would probably be like a bacon cheeseburger. Because anything with bacon is always better. And that was SmackDown. So that was pretty cool. Again, it was a good show. It was a lot better than Raw, though. Raw just seemed weird. When they start doing the weird bits with the icy hot and trunks... Yeah, it's funny, but not that great. Um, so very quick programming notes. 
again, I get to relax for this weekend. Might go fishing, so we'll might if not if I'm not, not fishing, I might go to the, ooh, I could go to the gym and church. That's pretty cool. So I haven't been to church since Easter. Terrible Catholic I am. And you can tell Yep, there we go. The cross is back there. Um, so again, it's probably going to be Monday Night Raw, Tuesday SmackDown. I might have off Saturday. I did text my friend and say I have off. So I have to keep an eye on the weather because I might go fishing because it is mahi season now. Mahi, king mackerel, and sailfish. And I think all bottom fishings open up with the exception of red snapper. And maybe I might make a bonus video for that one day, too, about fishing with a hobo. That would be pretty cool. Oh, I should do that. That could be like a 4th of July special. Indeed. So I'm, um, if I'm not fishing, I'm going to go to NXT Sanford. So again, you'll see another live video or a semi-live video. Sanford's a weird place. I just don't like their acoustics and their seating arrangements. What Candice LeRae was there last time? One day I will. Um, the 19th ends Money in the Bank. Again, Monday Night Raw on the 20th. Tuesday, SmackDown. 25th, I'm definitely going to NXT here in Daytona Beach. And I think whatever Sunday I have off, I might catch some Defiant Wrestling. So I'll do another live show at Defiant Wrestling, which is good because it's like only like, like an hour long. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching again. If you wanted to be like Jay Hamilton, again, you can always send a comment. Always respond to your comment and, and churn and send you out a video de dedication. Or if you'd like to ever leave an email, or you can always subscribe. And you'll see that at the end part because I have production. I'll see everyone um, next Monday. Or yeah, oh yeah, on Monday. Bye.